It's not just you. Half of the world has endured a problem with social media since last evening our time. It seems that Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp all have problems. With Facebook this morning, it was accessible, but without pictures. Other websites are fine and the problem seems to be restricted to the Zuckerberg sites. So for the latest news, TV and deals in the city, alwayspatia.com is still full on as always. Thailand's Prime Minister has signed up for a plastic waste reduction campaign that will see the nation phasing out at least four plastic products within three years. Styrofoam food containers, thin plastic straws and single-use cups are all to disappear by 2022. Following reports on a 20 baht daily medical insurance fee for visitors to Thailand, it's now being mooted that the fees might not be due on arrival but on departure. Similar to many countries such as the Philippines, the fee would be paid prior to going through customs to leave Thailand. It may also be the case that all visitors, with or without medical cover, will contribute. Truth is that no firm plans have been released yet, but the good news is that we won't be seeing the GoFundMes in such numbers as we have to date. In Nontabri, a woman was reported as dead from electrocution as she stopped for food at a local food cart. The owners had plugged in for power with permission from the building owner. The 24-year-old stumbled and fell onto the vendor's cart and was electrocuted. There's all sorts of stories coming from this, but often here, in fact in most cases, sockets and units are not earthed, and so it's likely that she did get a full shock. A Facebook blackmailer has been nabbed in the capital. It seems that he hijacked people's accounts using a common trick of running a so-called quiz but with a hidden virus that gave him passwords and more. He then contacted the account holders and told them he'd got photographs of them with very little in the way of clothing, but he wouldn't send them to their friends if they sent him 400,000 baht. He's admitted his crime, and all his computers were taken from his home. Meanwhile at home and in neighbouring Rayong, police are investigating a vehicle wreck involving 11 motorbikes, a car and a medical rescue vehicle. Reports indicate that the medical vehicle went through traffic lights with the full lights and siren on the vehicle. That didn't help those already crossing the intersection. Wednesday saw yet another foreigner fall from a condo building, this time the 11th floor of VT6 in the centre of the city. Name and nationality is being withheld at the request of authorities. We are told, though, that he wasn't a resident there, but had been visiting and asked to see a few rooms to rent. Padia police responded to a neighbourhood request to check out an abandoned building in Soyen Sabai, where locals knew drug deals were going down. The police found exactly that, and even one woman who continued to prepare her wares for sale as they stood and watched. Several arrests were made, and the building is due to be block bricked to stop people going in. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 32, dropping down to 28, and a continuance of the overcast weather. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.